Hey guys and welcome to another episode of our Portsmouth Youth Squad Legends career mode. We have players returning from their loan spell, like Chilu from Luton, Altair Anania from Notts County, Tong Hyun Chin from Crew Alexandra, and Andre Nikolai from Bradford. Also, Ethan Kerr and Jose Wood have accepted their contracts. Jose Wood is a 53 rated left winger from America. And Ethan Kerr is a right mid, 61 overall from America also, with potential to be special. We get a transfer for Patrick Hamilton, our goalkeeper from Hamburg. They're offering 3.8 million for his services. His value is 3 million, but he's our best keeper, so we're not going to sell him. Hartlepool offer Robbie Booters. £900,000, his valuation is £800,000, he's in excellent form, very happy, we're going to reject as well. Our first game of the episode is away to Wigan Athletic, I think there's going to be a little bit of a kit clash, but um, either kits that we both wear, it's, it looks more like a kit clash than this one, so this is um, our second team. We've got to use our second team because this is our first team. Very tired indeed, can't use them. So our second team not looking too bad. Uh, going to give Feng Ren a go. We haven't used him in quite a while. And Dior comes in instead of Henry because he's injured. And Liu as well is coming in for Gallo in right back. So Wigan versus Portsmouth. Come on, Pompey. It's Ren. Into Manakov and it's 1 0. Just about get through there. The kick clash has sort of put me off a little bit, but there's a slight difference. We managed to find our own player, Manakov being the player. Feng Ren with the assist with a nice through ball. Good finish from Manakov. We're 1 0 up against Wigan. I don't know who's on whose team. Greg and it's an equaliser. One mistake like that is deadly. It's half time and it's one all. Very hard to tell the difference between both teams. But there's been a goal for either side. Ref. Yes, got a penalty, lads. Come on, this is our chance to get in front. And it's a red card. Who is it? Cody Randall's been sent off for Wigan in the 51st minute. Giving away in a penalty as well. Luthi doing well. To sort of get past him. Enough for him to get us down on the ground. It's going to be Luthi to take it. Leonardo Luthi makes it 2-1. And we are leading against Wigan once again. And full time, we managed to win this game just by a goal with a penalty from Luthi. Kit Clash really got us a bit there, but got the three points. We get a scouting report from Nigeria. We get David Owazi, going to reject. Ezekiel Nwapa, reject him. Kelvin Fodio, we're going to reject him as well. Kelvin Nwapa, reject. Felix Mabepa. Mapeba, sorry, reject him, and David Akoku, we're going to reject him also. So Barcelona want to buy Darko Kovac, the left winger that we haven't really used at all. Uh, we're going to reject him, or we'll reject the offer. I want to see what he's like first before I see what I want to do with him. Get another transfer offer here for Kostya Manikov on a two-year loan to Barcelona. We're actually going to reject it because we have barely any cams in the team. We got Horn, uh, Manakov, and who else have we got? I can't. Mem I can't remember who we got. I think they're the only two cams that we got. Oh, we got Miklabust as well. Let's have a look. Miklabust, yes, but he's loaned out. So other than that, we only got two cams left here. So I'm just going to remove him from the loan list for now. 
uh, because we need him. Our second game of the episode is actually away against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Let's see if we can perform a shocker of a game. Chelsea versus Portsmouth. Gustafsson has won it back. Wooters is through. Robbie Wooters is 1-0 to Portsmouth. Robbie Wooters with the finish. And we crack him open to a big surprise here at Stamford Bridge. Robbie Wooters getting the opening goal in the FA Cup versus Chelsea. There's Hara. Into Robbie Wooters. Now into Bjorn Horn. We're 2-0 up against Chelsea. Does beautiful build at play. Hara into Wooters. Gives it into Horn. And he's obviously going to score with his best left foot. What a good finish that was as well. Typical, typical Bjorn Horn. 2-0. Get in, lads. Ah. Uh, if we can see the goal because of a deflection, I think it's Marcos Alonso with the goal. I think... He was going to save it as well. They come off hack. Oh, hack, mate. That would have been a save as well. It's 2 1 now. And it's half time here at Stanford Bridge. We are winning one, uh, 2 1. Uh, Hohen and Rooters with both goals. And then Marcos Alonso just before the half-time whistle to get a consolation, hopefully. But to get Chelsea back into the game, we're not quite sure. We'll have to find out in the second half. Come on. And there's the full-time whistle. We got a shock win against Chelsea at their home ground. Second half, though, we should have scored maybe two or three goals, but just went out of stamina. I, sh I probably should have made subs as well, but... Oh well, FA Cup is a magical, magical tournament. We're through to the next round. We've beaten Chelsea. Let's see who we play against next. Come on, Pompey. We get a transfer offer from Barcelona for Fang Reng. And it's a really good offer. Really good offer. But I don't know if I want to sell him. Actually, thinking about it, we got loads of wingers in the academy. we got Gustafsson. We got Montenegro, who we just signed up. We just signed another guy called Jose Wood. So maybe getting rid of him isn't a bad idea. We're going to counter offer five million. If they give us five million, well, obviously we can't decline it, but let's see if they accept five million. So we get some prize money for beating Chelsea in the FA Cup, going through to the next round. Get an extra eighty-five thousand pounds. Doesn't sound like much, but it's better than nothing at all. We also get an email from Barcelona, and they decided to accept it. They've matched the £5 million counteroffer for Fang Ren, and he will be going to Barcelona for £5 million. About £4.2 or £4.3 million coming to us, which is nice. Also getting a monthly scouting update, and this is from Austra no, yeah, Australia. We get Joel Thomas. Uh, we're going to reject him. Aidan Griffiths. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign him. Why not? Max Carter reject him. Morgan Murphy will sign him. Why not? Max Richardson reject him. And Jordan Davis we're gonna accept him also. We get a chance offer from Nottingham Forest to John Hendrickson. We're gonna accept it because he's up for sale anyway. Let's see if he goes. Confirmation there that Fang Ren has been sold to Barcelona. 3.9 million has been added to our account. Also, we decide to sign up Jordan Davis to write back from the most recent squad report. He's an Australian. We literally just saw him a couple seconds ago. I wanted to sign another right back anyway, so he's joined our squad. So, yeah, welcome Jordan Davis. Our third and final game is at home against Middlesbrough. We currently lead the table by 15 points. 
So even if we lose this, we're not really looking to to drop down any positions. Looks like uh, we are well, we are miles in front. So let's just extend it even more against a really tough opponent. We just beat Chelsea. Let's beat Middlesbrough. Come on, Pompey. Denton Tahara. Back to Denton now. Back to Hara. Horns there. <laughs> Get in Bjorn Horn, mate. Beautiful run. Kept going. Right across goal. Good ball from Hara as well. And good build up play between Denton and Hara. Horns there to finish it. Once again, as usual. And that's another goal to his tally. 1 0 up against Middlesbrough. Horn with a good ball in, it's Wooters and it's 2 0. Easily like that from the corner. Bjorn Horn involved with the goal again. Stung to him and he does a beautiful cross into Wooters. It's right in the corner, he couldn't get it any more in the corner. With 2 0 up against Middlesbrough, and that is Wooters' 11th goal of the season. He is really doing well for us. Oh, here come Middlesbrough's Victor Fisher. And they do get a consolation goal. Try to get on the line with Cow to clear it, but yeah, I think it's going to count as an own goal, is it? Yeah. Don't know why, I thought that was on target. Literally just before the full time whistle as well. And there is the full time whistle. We do still manage to get the three points. Thank God for that. Probably should have scored way more goals than we did, but oh well, never mind. Horn getting on the score sheet again, which is what I like. And that is the end of the episode, so please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I will see you in the next episode.